India, the land of diversity, offers some spectacular landscapes and stunning natural wonders. Bounded by the Karakoram Mountains range in the north and Great Himalayan range in the south, Ladakh in northern India is a perfect gateway for the nature and adventure-loving travelers. We have started our journey from Kolkata via Delhi. As all the flights are in the morning for Ladakh, we spent a full day in Delhi visiting Lal Kela, Jama Masjid, India Gate, Raj Ghat, Humayun's Tomb, and the next day we catch our early morning flight for Ladakh. With the exceptional beauty of its ink blue sky, rocky mountains, high passes, green valleys, snow clapped peaks, wrath terrains, serene lakes, and conquering rivers, Ladakh's ever changing majestic and alluring landscapes attracts every traveler. We are cruising over Karakoram and Pripanyal range of Great Himalaya, passing through Dehradun, Rotang Pass, Kulu Valley, Simla, Manikiran, Samo Redi Lake, towards as we reach Lee Airport, we were transferred to our hotel Royal Plaza and was advised to acclimatize with the high altitude sickness. In the evening, however, by walking we visit Lee Palace, rooftop restaurant and spend some time in Lee Market which was famous for its pasmina and chunk jewelry.
day, we have started our journey towards Hundar and Diskit Valley. Here, every card in the road captivates you with the unique view. We reach Khardung La Pass, which is at about 18,380 feet over the sea level and the highest motorable pass in the world. Then, passing by the Sayak River, we reach this kit and place our luggage in our hotel, Siachen. After that, we visit Dixit Monastery and after lunch, before sunset, we reached Hundar sand dunes for the famous double hump bacterian camel ride over the sand dunes. We stayed overnight at the Siachen Hotel Dixit. Here is the ride for you. From Nubra Valley, at early morning, we follow the Sayok River Bank Road to reach Bangong. After a long journey, throughout the day, when we reached Bangong, the heavenly lake mesmerized my eyes. This breathtaking saltwater lake, situated at an elevation of 14,270 feet above the sea level, and spreading over 134 km across India and China. Some part of the lake are at India and some part of the lake are in China. This magical lake keeps changing its color throughout the day. The nights was very chilling and the temperature is near the sub-zero. In the morning, we return to Leh through Changla Pass. Changla Pass is the second highest motorable pass in the world. And after reaching Leh, the next day we visit Sindhu Ghat, Se Palace, and the favorite three idiots Rancho School and the idiotic wall and after that we visit two monasteries that is Thikse Monastery and Hemis Monastery and overnight stay at Leh Hotel. It's so hard, it's so hard, it's so hard, it hurts so bad, when hearts are parted, oh heaven knows, I don't know. No, 
on our way back to Dili, we follow the Le Manali Highway by visiting Somuridi Lake. We stayed one night near Somuridi and keeping Soka Lake at one side, we reach Taglangla. Following different high altitude passes, for example Nakila, Kangla Jal, etc., we reach Sarchu and then reach Jispa. We stayed overnight at Jispa Ivex Hotel. And in the next day, early morning from Jispa, we reach Rotang Pass via Kelong. We spent some time at Rotang Pass and then we reached Manali. After reaching Manali, we visit local market and Bias Riverside and went for Delhi by AC Volvo bus and from Delhi, we catch our flight to reach Kolkata.